Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we even get started, first and foremost, want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakakadash. Secondly, you want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the Oculus of the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word and this truth in righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. My brother Haka from GMS South Carolina Midlands. And, you know, pretty much, man, what I'm going to talk about, I'll go over in this video here is a video I was watching uh, from the elder, um, the elder from Hawaii video he was covering um, going into uh, these these young Jakes, man, the young ass Jakes that's out there that's looting these damn fucking stores and shit. Man, these young Jakes out there in Philadelphia, man, these niggas are losing their goddamn mind, man. Not to say that you ain't got Jake losing their mind all over the damn four corners, but goddamn in Philadelphia, man, I don't know. There's some different breed of niggas out there in Philadelphia, man. All right, I'm gonna let y'all check. I'm gonna let y'all check this out for yourself and see when we go into these videos right here, man. See this, this, this right here is a prime example why two thirds gotta go. All right, because you know. When Jake be watching the videos, why y'all saying it about two thirds? Why y'all say y'all hate two thirds? Why y'all say the hell with two thirds, man? You know what I'm saying? The simple fact, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at these damn gremlins actions at the end of the day. The simple fact, if you see a bunch of group of niggas hanging out and huddle at a damn store, your ass probably hesitated going in that goddamn store because, uh, you know, you ain't want to encounter, you ain't want to in interact with all them damn niggas out there because, you know, a bunch of niggas together, you know, ain't no good going to come out of that. All right. Or if you in a goddamn restaurant or any type of public establishment and they got the wrong type of looking jakes some grimy looking jakes all up in there, you ain't want to be around no grimy niggas, man. You ain't trying to be around all these niggas, man. You know, niggas don't know how to act, bro. All right. You know, at the end of the day and they perpetrate. The stereotype that Esau put out there on him. Esau call y'all a bunch of animals. You know what I'm saying? You know, you zoo, you like you come out of the zoo. And these how these niggas right here in Philadelphia was carrying yourselves, man. All right. You know, they was validating the stereotype that, that, that Esau placed upon him, man. All right. But let's check it out, man. Now, this right here, the Philadelphia uh, chief of police here. And look how these damn Jake. You know what I'm saying? See, see what they... I'm going to let you see it for yourself, man. I ain't going to even see it now. I'm going to let you see, what, see, see, see it for yourself, man. If you ain't see it already. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know? Let me go... Let me, so let me play this video real quick. Watch these little niggas, man. Look at the chief! Look at the chief! Look at the chief! Look at the chief. Oh, shit! Yeah, no. Oh, oh, shit. So, 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 so y'all seen that, man? You had here is the chief of police up there in Philadelphia, which which is a Jake, and right behind his back he had a Jake sucker punch him, a little demon sucker punch him, man. All right, and then as you know, as he was hitting the goddamn ground, you know what I'm saying? You had another goddamn Jake, you know what I'm saying? Kicked him, kicked him in his ass, man. Kick, kick him in his ass, bro. You know, showing you, bro, these niggas, man, <laughs> these Jakes, man, these young Jakes out here today, man, this Generation Z, this zesty, demonic, GMO generation right here, they have no respect for nothing at the end of the day, bro. Now, you know, like I said, I'm 40 years old, you know, we call it Generation X, and like I say, for the for the most part, yeah, we got some fucked up niggas in our generation, too. But but for the most part, when we was coming up, man, you had to have respect for elders, bro. You ain't disrespect no elder, let alone think about cussing or, or, or raising your fist or, or, or kicking at a damn somebody old enough to be your mom and your father, man. That was a no-no. And then, and then this ain't even, you know what I'm saying, just like a, a regular adult, you know what I'm saying? This man right here, he's a police, he's a chief of police, bro. All right? This ain't no goddamn... Um, fucking security guard at walmart bro all right not to say that you should go around disrespecting security guards and stuff but this is a, a, a damn police officer man and not only a police officer chief of police bro now if that chief of police would have damn gun one of them stupid niggas down that put their hands on him, oh man he would have been in the wrong he would have been in the wrong but look at these kids action look at their behavior man and see esau esau he, he, he gonna milk this up, man. Esau gonna milk it up. Esau gonna put it out, which he already do, gonna put it out there to the whole world. And, and, and he gonna, and Esau gonna use that to justify his reason for coming down on you damn niggas, man. All right? You know? 
So, 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 there ain't gonna be no sympathy because Esau gonna make it like, look at these, look at these wild animals, man. They're out of control. They don't even respect, you know what I'm saying? They're, you know what I'm saying? The authority, man. They don't respect the property authority, man. All right, you know? Boy, I tell you, these young jakes right here, man, y'all playing right in the hand of Esau at the end of the damn day. Thinking the shit cute. You ain't getting away with nothing, man. All right? And ultimately, you how about your mouth shot? You niggas ain't getting away with nothing, man. Cause these these wicked niggas, man. This 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 generation right here. Though I say, man, we know ain't no generation coming after this, bro. All right, we know this it right here, man. Okay, see how wicked this generation is. Imagine generation coming behind this, bro. You know what I'm saying? You niggas talking about we got another 20, 30, 40 years. Let me get up out of here. Can you imagine the world? You know what I'm saying? The state of this world, another 20, 30 years, um, 20, 30 years later, bro. Imagine what the state of this world is. Look how weird this world is today. Look how demonic this earth is today, bro. Come on, you imagine this earth, Babylon, not not just this world, but Babylon. Babylon going on for another 20, 30 years. Now, why, how about you, my I got to take take this place out. He got to take Babylon out. This place is going to be destroyed, man. Righteously so. With you wicked-ass jakes out there, man. These wicked Israelite kids out here, bro. These, these, these youngsters out here, bro. I'm telling you, man. These, they, they, so much senseless crimes that's taking place. You know what I'm saying? And, and see, when we see you little niggas, you know what I'm saying, getting murk. All right, got the white sheet over your damn body, okay? We got to hear, oh, you heard what happened to such and such. They died up. They died last night. Man, nobody fucking crying over your wicked ass, man. All right? And like I say, these are the actions right here. We don't just say elf to two birds, man. All right? We have a reason. When I say we, I'm speaking of the elders apostles of Great Millstone, the elder bishops on down to us. I rock this out. We pray we have the hopeful elect. All right? But... You know what I'm saying? We giving you an example. We give you examples of, of, of why we say what we say, man. All right. And then, like I said, you go out in your every damn day life. Look, look, look at the action of these niggas, man. <laughs> Have you seen niggas lately? All right. You know, we, uh, more than likely somebody breaking your goddamn house. All right. Or somebody try to rob you. Nine out of ten gonna look like somebody like you. <laughs> All right. It gonna look like somebody like you, man. All right. But let's watch this one more time, man. Let's watch it one more time, man. Watch these little niggas, man. Look at the cheese! Look at the cheese! Look at the cheese! Oh shit! Yeah, no. Oh! Oh shit! It's the cheese. Well, you know that's how, that's how you know this it right here, man. This it right here, bro. <laughs> that's the chief. That's the chief, bro. That's the Philadelphia police chief. That's what he got stolen on. These little niggas are monsters, bro. Just like the elder said, man. Elder, <laughs> hey, I, I couldn't agree with you more, man. These stupid, wicked niggas are monsters. Monsters that Yahweh Shema was shot is going to destroy, man. That's why Ezekiel 9 and 4 is written, man. For these Ezekiel 9 and 4 and 5, man. All right, when Yahweh Shema was shot making that separation from the elect to the two-third niggas, man. Matter of fact, let's, let's start there, bro. Let's start there, man. Let's start there, man. This right here, like I said, man. We once you think you done seen it all, but then, like I say, man, when these damn niggas get gunned down by the police, don't feel sorry for them, man. All right, don't feel sorry for them. All right, you know, niggas gonna turn around. If if these niggas in Philadelphia, if they doing that to the chief of police, what the hell they do? What the hell they do with anybody else, man? They ain't got a badge on. What they do to your ass, bro? All right, what would they do to you? Okay, and you ain't no police. You ain't you ain't no police. All police chief at that. So what more would they do to your ass, man? All right, tell you, boy. Let's see why this place got to go. Ezekiel nine and four. And the Lord Yahweh Shemayahu said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead. And that word, and that word mark, go back to Tawa, man. All right, in the Hebrew, Tawa. All right, and and that word mark means, you know, what I'm saying, exempt of judgment. Okay, it means exempt of judgment. All right, okay, and that's for the elect. All right, of the nation of Israel, you so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans. Okay, men. All right. All right, starting with the elect men, all right, the body government of Yahweh Bashim which is 144,000, all right? And it says, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. And see, these are one of the, shalak, and these are one of the abominations, you know, we're crying out for, man, because our people, Jake, is totally all out of order, man. They have no respect for nothing at the end of the day, bro. All right, they got no regards, no respect for anything at the end of the day. 
All right. And and those are one of the things that we crying out for, man, because, you know, these young Jake out here terrorizing their own neighborhoods that they, that, that they stay in, that they live in. All right. They genocide and they genocide in each other at the end of the day. OK. All right. On a day to day basis, then. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? These damn niggas. I seen uh, reading one story. These wicked ass Israelites, these young Jakes, probably in these 16, 17, 18 years old. And these damn wicked ass niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like one of the one of their ops, what they call the enemies, the ops, you know, um, they, they, they gun, they gun an op down, you know what I'm saying? You know, a couple of months ago. Then they're going to return to the op that they gunned down. They're going to turn to his grave site. And they're going to take the goddamn tombstone back in their fucking neighborhood, man, and record it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just just being all kind of disrespectful, just being as demonic, as, as wicked as they possibly can be. But And I'm like, man, what other recourse for them, man? What other remedy y'all about Shemashah going to have for these niggas, man, other than put their ass fucking death? See why they got to go. But you niggas want to say two thirds. You want to sit up there and talk about nah, that's going off, man. You don't supposed to be wishing death upon your people, man. You, man, you know what? Two thirds ain't our people, all right? They count as Gentiles. That's why you how about your mouth? I said, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it. We are gonna get back to Ezekiel, man. This is what I ain't gonna even quote it. Let me just go ahead and grab it. All right. This is why it's written there. All right. This right here, um, where I want to start at, and y'all know what I'm about to get. Okay, this right here, Romans 9 and 6, Romans 9 and 6, not as though the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, okay, which are of Israel, see, so you have Israel or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and you have Israel, you know what I'm saying, by, you know what I'm saying, by bloodline, man, right, which is going to represent two-thirds. Yahweh Shem Shah made a separation within Israel, even though Israel is the elect nation amongst, you know what I'm saying, all the nation that Yahweh Shem Shah chosen to himself, but even amongst the elect of Israel, there's an elect amongst the elect, all right, you know, so two-thirds of Israel, Yahweh Shem Shah is not dealing with on this side, he ain't made himself known to, and pretty much, Yahweh Shem Shah rejected two-thirds, man, that's why these niggas out here bugging the hell out in all these other philosophies, religions, up under the sun, that's why they get offended in the words of Yahweh Shem Shah. but the point of the matter is, it says, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Yeah, they're Israel by blood, but they're not Israel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They're not Israel of the elect that's going to return back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right? So, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we can say the hell with two-thirds, man, all right? They ain't, uh, they ain't um, you know, they're not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I mean, they, 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 they're just, they're counted as a goddamn heathen, man, all right? You know? Ezekiel, and then you got niggas that go as far as say it's a downgrade to be a Hebrew Israel. Like you got niggas out there to say that shit, bro. They'll say they, 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 you know, you got Jake to disregard their heritage, bro. All right, the hell with being a Hebrew Israel. Like man, that's a downgrade, man. That's a downgrade. I'm gonna forever be a nigga. I'm a nigga, you know. Uh, hey, and you know what? Hey, and they're gonna die, a nigga, too. All right, you gonna die one too. But man, we back at it, man. Ezekiel nine, and um, and um, finishing up. Uh, no. Finishing up verse five and to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Yeah, man. These wicked ass goddamn niggas, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get their judgment, which is going to be death at the end of the day, man. All right. Because there ain't no other remedy for them. All right. Other than death, man. There ain't no cure. That's the cure right there. That Yahweh Bashim is going to bring to them, man. This ain't get no fucking better. Niggas ain't going to self-check self, man. All right. You know, they're not going to self-examine themselves at the end of the day. They're going to continue on being wicked, man. It's going to be even more wicked, man. All right? So so, so the most high, like I said, man, the judgment he's going to bring upon him is going to be death, man. All right? Verse 6, slay utterly old and young. And you've seen the Jake's actions just now. All right? And like I said, we just show one example. We could be here all goddamn day showing you how wicked our people are. All right? But that, that's just one of many examples to show you why two-thirds got to go. Why Yahweh Shem is going to be bringing judgment upon two-thirds of Israel. All right, why are they gonna be destroyed? All right, why Yahweh Shemal Shah said, don't don't even spare, no have, don't even have pity, man. All right, put the ass a damn delf, man. All right, we don't care about them crying and hollering, hooping and, and uh, begging and whatnot. Nah, put the ass a delf, man. All right, uh, uh, verse six it says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. See, Yahweh Shemal Shah says, slay utterly old and young. So you got wicked. You know, we've just seen some young. Wicked niggas and see what they put their hands and feet up on the um, chief of police of, of Philadelphia. All right. You know, 
So they had no regard, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, for for authority, you know, right? They had no regard for the elder at any day. The, the, the uh, no kids that were putting their hand up on that um that that police chief. That police chief is old enough to be their damn father, all right. And in some cases, probably old enough to be their damn grandfather, man. All right, you know. But they but but they didn't care, bro. They had no regard for his age, or they had no regard for that badge neither, man. All right. That's why the scripture says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. See? All right. Because all these spirits coming back anyway in reincarnation, all these wicked ass spirits coming back. What? They get their judgment from you. How about Shema was shot? And women, but come not near any man upon who is the mark, which is the elect, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men, which were before the house, man. Yeah, niggas that went back out in the world that was one time partakers of this truth. All right. You know, niggas, you know what I'm saying? You damn niggas that left that left your watch, man. You niggas too. You how about you my shine? Forgot you niggas neither. All right. Let's get um let's get Isaiah. Isaiah. All right, because the scripture's written, man. The scripture got our people to a T, man. Like I say, you Look at these niggas here, all right? The actions of these niggas. Look at the chief! Look at the chief! Look at the chief! Oh, shit! Yeah, no! Oh! Oh, shit! It's the chief! It's the chief! Man, damn, Jake putting a foot up the chief of, of police of Philadelphia ass, bro. All right, if if this right here ain't describing Jake right here, bro. All right, if this ain't Jake here. Isaiah fifty one and twenty. Thy sons have fainted; they lie at the head of all the streets. Anywhere you find Hebrew Israelites, man, you can find a gang of niggas in any urban community. You can whether so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, you can find niggas up there on the top of the damn street corner in the, in your local corner store. All right, you know what I'm saying? Your Walmart parking lot, <laughs> your, 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 your gas stations, man. Your damn local gas stations in your neighborhood. You can find a bunch of Jake huddle up. Man. ABC stores and shit. You find a bunch of damn niggas huddle up together, man. All right? And guess what? When they huddle up together, it ain't up to no good, man. All right? Ain't nothing righteousness coming out of that. Okay? <laughs> That's why the scripture's written. It says, Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets. As a wild bull in the net. And you know how wild a bull is, man. All right. You know, heading up, but for destruction to destroy. All right. Nobody niggas are, man. Nobody niggas on. Destroying, 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 man. Nothing like a wild bull. Untamed. And sit up there, put your hand and feet up on the goddamn police, man. You know, you you got to be wild as all hell, man. You know what I'm saying? Wild as all hell. You don't care because your life could have got taken, bro. Just that quick, bro. All right. That, po that chief of police life felt, you felt threatened at that moment at, at a time. Man, hell, man, he, he could have given permission. Hey, hey, shoot their ass down, man. Stop shooting that. Shoot in the crowd. All right? You know, you niggas don't even think about that because they don't care. They, Jake, Jake just don't care, man. They don't care, man. They just react off their pure emotions, man. Okay? It says, they are full of the fury of the Lord. Yeah, how about Shemar Rashad? The, the rebuke of thy power, man. All right? You know, and, and, and like I said, man, ain't no damn remedy for these wicked niggas. Other than, you know what I'm saying? Other than Delph, man. We we, we gonna get that. We gonna get that. Let's get second address real quick. Let's get second address. All right. Five and eight. It says, there shall be a confusion also in many places going to Babylon. The final judgment is bastard ass place here, this kingdom. It says, and the fire shall be oft sent out again. And the wild beasts shall change their places. And menstrual and menstrual, excuse me, menstrual, menstrual women shall bring forth monsters. See, yeah, that's what it says. It says, and menstrual women shall bring forth monsters. And, and we've seen these monsters, man. All right, that's why we have a term called what GMO babies, man. All right, <laughs> these kids born in the 2000 and beyond, man. 2000 and, and beyond, boy. I tell you, they they on some other time, man. These, these niggas, boy. I'm telling you, boy. We seeing what time they on, man. All right, I can't remember my generation is putting hands and feet on no damn uh police a police officer period, let alone a chief of police man. All right, we weren't even doing that to a damn resource officer. We weren't even really fucking up no damn security officer man. We weren't even on that. That wasn't last last thing on your mind, bro. All right, you know you know what repercussions come behind that. 
But these niggas take it as they, these niggas went farther than that. Like, man, damn that, man. We we we'll mess up the damn uh chief of police. All right. <laughs> Tell you, boy, these niggas wild, man. Little little mistress, little mistress women having these mocksters, bro. Tell me. Look at that chief. Look at that chief. Oh shit, yeah, no. Oh shit. That's the chief. That's the chief. That's the chief, bro. Yeah, see that? See that? Cause like I said, man, me and that brother, me and that elder from Hawaii, man, we probably like around about the same age, man. We probably ain't too far off from each other, man. Alright? Like I said, man. You know, hey, we had a wild generation too, but god damn, man. We went we went on that time, bro. We went knocking down no trying to play the knockout game. These niggas trying to play the knockout game with the damn uh, chief of police, bro. <laughs> nigga playing the knockout game, man. Boy, I tell you, man, but like I say, you you see why two thirds gotta go, man. All right. And what it says, the end of verse eight, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters, man. And then this and, and, and we're gonna end with this here, man. All right. We gonna end with this here, bro. This is why these niggas gotta go. Isaiah one and four. Ah, sinful nation, a people Latin with inequity. And you Latin, that means you covered. Niggas covered from their head to their toe with, with wickedness, man. All right. If you think any kind of wickedness, a nigga is involved in that. <laughs> Believe that. It says a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Yeah, man. They don't care nothing about the heritage. They don't care nothing about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right, they don't. They only care about fulfilling. They, 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 they damn sinful as lust, man. Okay, it says they have provoked the holy one of Israel into anger. They are gone away backwards. Yeah, degenerates, man. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Yeah, man, I'm damn niggas, man. <laughs> the way you have about your mouth looking down upon them, like why, why even punish them even more, man? They're gonna, they're gonna be even more wicked. All right, like scripture gonna go into. Ye will revolt more and more. See, the whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint, man. All right, you know, so 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 the only remedy, the only remedy, all right, is is for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? To take you damn niggas out, man. Which we come into a time the way Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is gonna take two thirds of you damn niggas out, and, and righteously so. And we can't wait, man. All right, and with that, I pray and I hope that this list was edifying. With that, I wanna say shalom, shalom to the full election, shalom.